Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a short track, 7 by 12 foot, 9,900 pound GVW low profile dump trailer. This particular unit is what we'd refer to as our base model. Base meaning it's a 9,900 pound GVW, whereas our heavy duty start at 12,000 pounds. Even though this has a lot of the features found on the heavy duty, again, it's got a few distinct differences. So we'll take a walk around the trailer and show you some of those differences. So pretty much the base unit's gonna be very similar to the heavy duty with a few exceptions. I'll point those out first. So the idea behind this particular unit, uh, we'd been asking for this model for quite a while before they had released it. So a lot of folks that are hauling debris like uh, shingles and framing lumber and drywall, which doesn't weigh a whole lot, uh, relative to the size of the box that they would require. So on this particular unit, this is ideal for those type people. Guys hauling mulch, uh, framing lumber, shingle debris, drywall, things that don't really weigh a whole lot. Guys that are doing um, uh, house tear outs for, for banks and whatnot where it's mainly bulky stuff. That's where this trailer comes in play. So at 9,900 pound GVW, at least in Pennsylvania and I believe most states, this would not require a combination truck tag over 10,000 pound wood. Anybody that's hauling uh, gravel, sand, aggregate, etc., you should probably consider the heavy duty 12,000 plus pound GVW unit. So again, those differences besides this is a 10,000, there's a few other uh, smaller differences. Like this has a stationary coupler as opposed to the heavy duty's got the adjustable. This does not have the 110 volt charger where the heavy duty would. And then underneath here, the heavy duty would have a tool tray. Other than that, these are pretty well equipped like the heavy duty model shore tracks. So let's take a look around and show you what is a standard feature on this. So it's got the 7,000 pound drop leg jack. Notice it is a bolt on jack, not a weld on. If you ever need to replace it, you can do so. It's also got an integrated plug guard with a sealed cold weather wiring harness. Now shore track likes tube frames on these. And the reason they do tube, it resists that torsional load as opposed to channel or an angle or similar. So I use a six inch tube tongue. Now it is a full wrap tongue, runs all the way back to the spring hanger. And then they use a tube mainframe along with a uh, four inch tube bed frame on this particular unit. Uh, a couple nice features we like about Shore Track. They are all power up, power down hydraulics. They use a KTI pump. You've got a 20 foot remote cord uh, with your fob, a DECA deep cycle marine battery. Now you notice there's uh, two heavy gauge wires, they would of course uh, power from the battery to the pump. And then you've got two lighter gauge wires. These would trickle charge via the seven pin harness uh, back to the truck. So that's what the blue and uh, white wire there would be for. A lot of little details Short Track builds into their trailers we like. First you've got the uh, tarp prep. So if you want to put a tarp on. Uh, very simple to do so. It's also got the bulkhead for the front and rear board retainer. Uh, makes putting a 2x12 down in very simple. Now they also do a 2 foot sidewall where some in the industry on these go to a 20 inch. So again this is a, uh, a 2 foot wall with the option for a 1 foot extension. Uh, another nice detail we like is the keyway that they integrate into the sidewall that adds a lot of strength to that wall and keeps from having deflection. They also got stake pockets, so if you want to build the trailer up uh, with stake body type sides, you can do that. So one of the nice little details we like are those stake pockets. There's very little area between the pocket and the top rail, but also help protect uh, the top edge of this particular unit. Also going down the side of the trailer, you see they've got spots for a, um, a rope ring would uh, hook a bungee to a tarp kit. So those all come included standard. New for 2019 is the new punch plate side step. Gives you nice traction going up into the bed of the trailer. Double brake fenders are standard equipment. So instead of a single brake, the uh, double brake on the fender gives extra strength and rigidity to the fender. Short Track uses all radial tires, brakes on both axles. These have the newer style forward adjusting brakes as well as the black caps on the end of the hubs for the easy lube hubs. Makes uh, servicing the trailer quite simple. An average uh, homeowner with hand tools can service this particular unit. A couple other key details all throughout the trailer 
they take in silicone uh, the beads where the body and body components maybe come together or bed and bed frames come together helps keep rust out of these key areas which speaking of rust short track takes a lot of time they built a new dump plant in 2015 uh, that that was pretty painstakingly built around finished quality all the steel stored inside the final product is blasted with steel grit not sand it's also phosphate washing and after the phosphate uh, wash they do a zinc type chromator a zinc sealer that seals the trailer prior to powder coat so they've got a, a nice profile on the steel before they powder it uh, certainly of the brands that we carry they go to the farthest extremes to get a good finish on the product. Combination spreader gate is standard. It's a two-way gate, so you can open the trailer up with the barn door, or you can set the depth and spread. Undermount ramps. Five D-rings in the bed, including one front and center. Couple other details on the bulkhead. I uh, certainly like that it puts the lights where the guy behind you can see them. They're at face level. 10 gauge floor standard equipment on short track seven wide dumps, as is a dual piston. Put this up here in a second for you, and you can see the dual cylinders. A couple other little details on these spare tire mount is standard equipment. Uh, some of the little uh, attention to detail we see with short track, uh, much cleaner spare tire mount than some we've seen in the industry it sounds like a little detail but these little details are all throughout their product for instance not only uh, do they weld on the outside they actually also put beads weld on the inside you got eight welds on that particular trailer sounds like a little detail until you're going down the road and see your spare tire mount and your spare in the rear view mirror There's your pump and your battery. It's a Group 24 Deep Cycle Marine battery. It's a DECA brand KTI pump. See the USA sticker on the pump there. It is a power up, power down, as you can see from the two coils. 3 by 30 dual ram lift cylinders. It's going to get about a 45 or a little more than a 45 degree angle. These ramps are undermount ramps. I'll show you the ends of the ramps and what Short Track does a little bit different. So you got about an 80 inch ramp. Now one key detail on Short Track, they put a half inch piece of plate on the end of those ramps. Uh, some in the industry that we've sold before had quarter inch. And what we found is if it's got a quarter inch plate at the end of that, I can guarantee you at some point in time, it's probably gonna bend. Quarter inch won't hold up long term. It will short term, but not long term. So they put a uh, half inch plate, put the retainer uh, on the end of those. Again, we said about the side step. Let me show you their wiring. It's all grommeted, ran in frame, sealed jacket. Come back here to the brakes. All the brakes are fully molded. This is a modular harness. So basically you've got uh, the rear, which would be one that comes out of frame. It runs the length of the trailer. So basically you got one going across the back, one that goes uh, the length of the trailer, and then you've got another connection point up here that's gonna take the front side of the trailer. So it's a three-piece modular harness. Uh, obviously pretty rare to have a problem in a, a sealed modular harness like that. Uh, a few wiring issues you would ever get on these would be if something gets pinched, which can happen, but fairly rare. So this unit's gonna weigh in a hair over 3,000 pounds. You're gonna be about 3,200. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 68 plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's gonna be another, give or take 15% or 1,500 pounds. You're gonna be about 8,300 pounds net legal payload on this. And what we find is for the average use, for the average light duty contractor, again, shingles and whatnot, this here is an ideal fit saves you some registration money tax tags generally something this like this size can be towed by a decent size half ton truck if you got a three-quarter even better my name is greg at best choice trailers if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring 717-220-4220 
or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.